Elastic APM is an application performance monitoring system built on the Elastic stack. Elastic APM makes it easy to pinpoint and fix performance problems quickly. In this video, you will learn what traces are and how they can be used to better understand your applications. After configuring Elastic APM agents to collect traces from your applications, you will see a list of the different services with an overview of each service. In Elastic APM, transactions describe events captured by an agent instrumenting a service or application. A transaction is the highest level of work measured in a service. It can be a request to a server, a batch job, or even a background job. Here we can see that frontend-node has around 313 transactions per minute with an average response time of 77 milliseconds and an error rate of 0.5%. If we go ahead and click on the front end node service, we will see an overview of the service. The average latency varies between 60 and 100 milliseconds with some spikes up to 200 milliseconds. We can also look into the 95th or 99th percentiles. The overview page also shows you the throughput and error rate. It automatically compares the current period with the previous one, for example, the last 24 hours with the previous 24 hours. At the bottom of the page, there is a list of the instances of this service and its details. In this case, there is a single instance running. Scrolling back up, you can see a list of the different transactions. The main transaction is checkout with almost 16 transactions per minute and an average duration of 1,514 milliseconds. Clicking on the transaction shows the details of that specific transaction. You can see the duration distribution and click on slow transactions to investigate bottlenecks. If we click on the transactions that took between 2.5 and 3 seconds, we will have the details of the sample transactions that fall within the selected duration shown at the bottom. A transaction is broken into multiple spans, each relative to a part of the code. And in this view, you can track not only the transaction time, but also the time spent on each span. Here we can see that hipstershop.cartservice front slash empty cart takes more than 2 seconds out of 2.8 seconds for the entire transaction. If we click on it, we can see the stack trace for that specific execution along with the metadata. If you expand a span, you can see the details of other services as well, such as the cart service. But distributed tracing is a topic for another video. Besides finding bottlenecks, we often want to understand and avoid errors. This can be done by checking the errors for a specific transaction. If we go back to the transactions that took between 0 and 500 milliseconds, and we click through the trace samples, we can see that there were two errors. Click on Error to view the related errors in the Errors page. By clicking on the error message, we can see the exception stack trace and the metadata. In this case, the credit card has expired. Elastic APM allows you to collect events from different services and applications. In this video, we discuss the three main types of events, transactions, spans, and errors. We also navigated through the UI analyzing APM data of one of the instrumented services.